Dr. Kavita, this is for you, for the hook that I have left. The hook that I have left. So basic is keep your feet shoulder uh, width apart and you keep this hook parallel to the floor. You already know this. I'm just brushing up the details. Give it a push into your stomach. Into your stomach and you go side to side. Either side to side or front and back. What you don't do is go around. The moment you start going around, you're going to, then I would lose the hook. So what you do is push and side to side. So keeping your core tight, just pushing in or side and side. Either way you have to, it's this or this, not this. Okay, one is this, once you have learned that, you can even do the opposite side. What happens is we almost know everything to one side and then we don't know the other. Uh, so, it helps for me and that's what I've been sharing with people, is to try the other side once you have mastered one side. Uh, two of these things, I think I can give you a neck hooping also. So, same thing, you place it up here by the back of your neck, here. And you want to ensure it is parallel to the floor, not like this, because if you give it a push, it might just roll up and hit you in the face. So here, go to one side, push it into the neck. And now the movement is here. So you're shifting weight from one leg to the other and it's as if someone's pull, pushing, pulling you from the shoulder. So up into the neck and here. See? For this, so don't end up doing any of this, no neck movements, not going all the way down, none of this. Those are usually the mistakes and people do around also, so that's a huge mistake. So even maybe even front and back also works again or side and side. There. Okay, that's two things. For the palm I can teach you. So you have to keep it on your L-shaped palm. So a lot of us do it here but then... There's nothing really that comes of it after. So you can, you just stuck. This is about all there is to it. But if you have it on the palm, you can do isolations, you can do weaves, you can do chest roll. You can do so many things from there. So everything happens from the palm. That's why you really learn it on the palm. Keep it on your L-shaped palm with the other hand. Give it a push. So it uses its own body weight, its own momentum to Go around your palm, but keep your palm facing forward. With a push, facing forward and go up and down. So almost like you're giving someone a handshake, an invisible one. Okay, so push and up and down, up and down, up and down. There. Simply, aram se, no rush. Yeah, and don't tighten your hands. A lot of the kids I see, they just tighten their palm like this. That doesn't work. Keep it loose, around say relax there. Forward your elbow can be bent or it can be forward. That's up to you, however convenient it is for you. Here. Give it a push. If the push is not working, then you can even just hold it up and let it drop down. And with the momentum of that, then do your handshake. Two ways of getting into it. Now, from here, we can take it forward to many other things. The main basics that I learned first. And then I would do my knee hooping and then from there I'll teach you how to spin with your hoop. But for that just have it uh, be, feel comfortable on the spot as is and we'll take it forward from there. Hope this helps.